Hey gamers, Gaming Geek here with another fast paint tutorial with another Warcry band. This time it is the Unmade. If you want to see my video, a uh, fast paint video of the Corvus Cabal, go ahead and click here. You can check that out. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to paint these two figures because the Blissful one uh, has colors that the minions don't have and vice versa. So this will give you all of the paints and schemes for both the minions and for the blissful one. And as you can see, they turned out pretty good and using primarily contrast paints and washes, we can get these cranked out quickly so that you can get them onto the gaming table and to play. And congratulations to my Patreon supporter, AJ, for winning this last month's giveaway. He got a fat mat from Table War of his choice, and so he's going to be receiving that. And for this month of September and October of 2019, we're going to be giving away weekly some games uh, off of my gaming shelf. And so if you want to check that out, go ahead and go to the link below for Patreon. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and see how to fast paint the unmade. All right, so I used this spray for the primer on these models, and it is Valspar uh, Flat Silver Fox. Um, the cover might look different now, and I'm not even sure if you can find these anymore. I bought mine at Lowe's, um, and it will give this bluish, light blue color. But if you don't have this color, I think gray will actually work as well. Because if you notice on these figures that are finished, um, when you put the soft tone on there, it makes it look gray and there isn't much of a bluish tint to them anyway. So it's sort of up to you. Um, I think gray would work fine if you don't have this light blue color. So. <clears throat> The first step we're going to do though is use gray sky, which is an even lighter gray. And we're going to um, just dry brush on the skin so that it provides highlights. You can skip this step. And here I'll show you a difference between one where I put highlights and this one, which I didn't do any highlights. And you can tell a little bit because this model here to the right does have uh, lighter skin tones but I don't know if it is different enough. So you guys decide whether or not you think having a little bit lighter skin is worth doing this step. If not, just skip this step and you can uh, go to the wash phase of the skin. Uh, but I'll show you how to do um, this step. So basically all I'm doing is sort of uh, dry brushing on this lighter gray wherever there is skin and just go down. And you can leave um, some of the folds of the skin and crevices of the darker color. And this just provides a little bit of highlights. Do the same with the blissful one, although he doesn't really have that much skin. Uh, just his knees here and his arms. Next, I'm going to use Army Painter Soft Tone to go over the skin to provide some shadows. And so just very simply, and, and this warms up the color of the skin as well. Don't forget to get these uh, little spots here. Now here's the blissful one. Again, very simple because there's so little skin on this guy. Actually, I did find more skin down here, underneath here, his sides. So I'll make sure you wash those as well, right here. Also, don't forget to do any hanging flesh 
either these hands where they flayed uh, someone's skin off of their arms or a couple of models have uh, skin hanging off of the sides of their faceplate. Now we're going to go ahead and grab contrast snake bite leather. And here we are doing the skirt. You can include the star. Same thing on the skirt of the blissful one. You know what, actually, I think I'm covering up the thighs here. That should be open. So I'm gonna have to go back and um, paint over that because that's supposed to be skin color. Right there is skin color. I'm going to have to go over that again. Also on this model, you're going to want to do the snake bite leather in between this, these parts on the club. Or conversely, you could do black here, but I think I like the wood color. I'm going to go ahead and put Imperial Purple onto the hood of the Blissful one. Now, um, I don't have purple contrast paint. So if you do, you can go ahead and use that instead. Although I found that the um, darker color, sort of like the red that I have, doesn't actually do any better in providing um, sort of a shade. It comes out pretty flat. So I don't feel compelled. To, if, if the purple or some of the darker colors did actually do um, provide more shading and contrast, I would get it. But because it doesn't, and we're going to have to highlight anyway. Um, I'm just going to use my regular purple and do it the old fashioned way. And I think only the um, two of the other minions are um, have purple cloth on them. So there isn't a lot of purple going on with these figures. But the blissful one definitely, or well, this cowl has a lot of purple. So I did go ahead and paint the light gray in these two areas here. And so I need to put in the soft tone just to shade it a little bit. And I also fixed it on this guy here as well. This side you can't see as well. Next we're going to do the strapping. And typically I use Contrast Wildwood for all of the straps. Um, except for the main belt around their waist, which I will use Black Templar. If you don't want to get Wildwood, you can do all of the strapping with Black Templar. So that's an option. But I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like to use both Wildwood and Black Templar. And so for him, uh, I'll use the Wildwood for this shoulder strap that holds his armor in place. Uh, that's the only strap. And then the shoe straps is what I do as well. And again, you can do this in the Black Templar and that would be fine too.
So here are his shoes. And then now I'm going to use a black Templar for the other straps. So the only black Templar uh, that I'm painting on this guy is this strap, this belt across his back. And if you don't have black Templar contrast paints, you can always just use black and highlight it with a little bit of gray. But obviously we're trying to paint these as fast as possible, so if you can get your hands on some black Templar, go ahead and do this. Alternative is just to use the wildwood, the brown, on this strap as well. And then on some models, they, they have a strap that goes up and down the front, and I do that in Black Templar, as well as the back strap that goes down. For the Blissful one, he has two shoulder straps that are coming down right here. We're gonna do that in Black Templar. Um, the Bliss one doesn't have any other strapping, so we're not using Wildwood on her at all. And I'm assuming the Blissful one is a her, because we all know that women can handle pain better than men. And I, th I think the other reason why I think it's a woman is I think these are boobs right there. Not a hundred percent sure, but my basic assumption is that the person who handles the most pain is the leader, and I just assume that's a woman. So there you go with black straps, and then we want to do this belt down here. And you know what, I'm also actually going to do the skull because I want the recesses to be in black to maximize contrast when I paint this white later. So I'll go ahead and just do the entire skull with this black Templar. Now we're going to go ahead and do our metallics, first with plate male metal from Army Painter, which you can use any silver that you have. And there's a lot of metal on these guys. Next I'm going to grab some Reaper Antique Gold, but you can use any gold that you have. And really the only spot on the minions is this crest or buckle or whatever this is. Oh, no, he has earrings too. So any of these little pokey things, I've decided to paint gold. Obviously you can in it whatever color you want but um, he also has one here on his belt and don't forget this cog down here now she has a lot of these so here's my attempt at recreating a similar mask and mine is lighter than what they have. It seems like they have some kind of purple present. But if I had Volupus pink contrast color, I would use that. But because I don't, this is what I do. So first I'm gonna paint on rosy skin or any kind of pink that you have. And this will only apply to the minions because they're the only ones who have this mask. Um, the blissful one doesn't have it. 
So just color the entire mask pink. Being careful not to get it onto any of the silver. While right, we're waiting for the pink to dry, go ahead and grab Contrast Ultramarines Blue. If you don't have Contrast Blue, go ahead and use any blue that you have. Just water it down a little bit so that it will be transparent. We're going to be painting the shoulder pad. So you want the silver to still shine through. So now that the pink is dry, we're going to go ahead and use our Army Painter Red Tone and do a wash over the mask. And it's going to be pretty light. We're going to darken it up with a coat of Gnome Oil or um, dark tone. Here I'm grabbing my Army Painter Purple Tone and we're going to actually add a little bit of purple onto these hanging arms and we don't want it to be too strong. Oh, that looks too weak. Actually, that's, that's good enough. And then on the blissful one, it looks like there's a fade. And so I'm gonna start here from the bottom and go up. And I'm gonna go ahead and sort of go up to here and then wipe off my brush and then sort of drag it up like this. Sort of like that. And that creates a little bit of a fade effect. Go ahead and grab your white. I always use craft paint for my white and black just because I use a lot of it. And we're going to go ahead and do the skull. A little bit too much on there. White part on there. And then I went ahead and stuck some skulls down here in the base as part of the basing. So I'm gonna paint those white. So this point in the process where I actually spray my models with dull coat. I usually get mine from Hobby Lobby and use their 40% off coupon. I think it's normally $4.95 and I get it for around $3. So um, I spray it now because I'm about to put on some glossy wash. And so I don't want it to be dulled. That's why I do my dull coat now. Okay, so at this point we're gonna go over all of the metal the silver that we painted with non oil or dark tone and um, if you have the glossy version of non oil and you want your metal to be shiny go ahead and use a glossy version now I don't have the glossy version and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up my own using uh, floor wax so I use this pledge future um, floor finish it's basically acrylic and it doesn't uh, look like this anymore. I think it's a brown cover, but I mix that since it's an acrylic base with paint and it creates any paint color into a wash. So in this cup, I put a drop of black and these are craft paints and a drop of this burnt umber. It's super cheap paint. And what I'm gonna do is squirt some floor wax in there um, and a couple of drops like this. Maybe one more. So it's more than half of it is floor wax. And then I grab my brush and I load it up with water. 
and I mix it all in like this and then I grab a little bit of black to darken it up because I want it to be darker not just a straight brown until it is about this consistency so let's go ahead and try that so I'm just going to go over all of the metal and again the reason why I use my homemade version is because uh, this floor wax makes everything shiny and all of this uh, you can skip if you have the glossy version of known oil I'm pretty sure the dark tone from army painter they don't have a glossy version of that and if you don't care if um, your silver parts uh, remain shiny then you can use your regular known oil or a dark tone and uh, it won't be it won't be shiny but um, you might not care about that and you can adjust the level of black that's in there and I'll go ahead and pretty much doing the same thing I'm also going to add some onto his um, skull mask here and be a little bit selective of where it goes and, and this just darkens it up just a little bit so I don't want it to get too dark. Pretty much fill those in just like that. And also here on the shoulder pad, I'm going to put some in, again, just to darken it up just a little bit. I'm going to use Texture Sterling Mud for the bases. I know in the picture it shows a gray base, and you can use the gray instead. But because these figures are so gray, and most of the colors on them are cool, um, I want to contrast the base with um, a warmer color. I don't always do that, but in this case uh, I think it looks better with a warmer base color. While we're waiting for the basing to dry, I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of highlighting. I know normally in a, a quick paint video we want to avoid doing highlighting, but um, because the Blissful One is your um, captain of your team, I think it would warrant doing a little bit of highlighting for the purple that is here. So not a whole lot, Just I just added a little bit of white to my um, purple and um, just going through some of these lines and adding just enough to make it distinguishable. I'm using chestnut gold. Once the base dries, I'm going to be dry brushing the ground with it. Picking up the high. Now you can use either Army Painter Dark Tone or Non Oil from Citadel. They're both basically the same effect. And we're going to do the stone down here. The blissful one is standing on. We're using Seraphim Sepia and basically touching up all of the skulls as well as doing the buckle. Final step is to just super glue some of these tufts onto the bases. I use Army Painter.
All right, so go ahead and check them out. These are the finished figures. And as you can tell, uh, all of the metal is shiny because I used the glossy floor wax. And I think they turned out pretty good for fast painting. And so you can get your unmade crew done pretty quickly. I'm gonna be playing this afternoon. Oh, I forgot to put Seraphim CP on there. I'm gonna to have to go back and do that. But overall, I think these guys look pretty good. So hopefully this video was helpful for you that to get your unmade painted up quickly. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. Helps me out a lot. Check out my Patreon page to see what giveaway we have for this month or week. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.